Welcome to Toro Enzymes Training and Tech, the innovative self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and to get going. Today's topic is basic computer maintenance. While this presentation is focused on Microsoft Windows XP, some of the principles you will see today apply to all previous versions of Windows. This training module will cover topics including the need for computer maintenance, maintenance tasks that should be performed weekly, monthly maintenance tasks, maintenance considerations for those with internet connections including automatic updates, and other training and 10 topics that help you become a better manager of your Toro Cypro system. Much like your automobile or your home, your Toro Cypro computer requires regular maintenance to help it run at peak performance. This maintenance should be done on a regulated schedule that should become part of your Cypro operation routine. Proper maintenance of your computer will help ensure seamless years of operation. On a weekly basis, you should schedule a few moments to perform the following tasks. Backup of important data, an entire reboot of your system, and basic cleaning and dusting. Let's begin by discussing backup. Your weekly backup should, at the very least, consist of making copies of your My Documents, DB Save, and other important folders on your computer where you have stored information. The backup should be made to some type of removable media such as external hard drives, USB drives, or CDs. In fact, on more recent Toro NSN computers, we have installed a removable secondary drive for just this purpose. The software on these computers automatically back up your My Documents and DB Save folders. To check and see if you have one of these newer configurations, please contact us at NSN. Talking about your DB Save folder, remember the path for this data is Toro Cypro, Interbase, DB Save. For more information about the physical process of performing a backup, please refer to the Training in 10 module backing up your data. The purpose of rebooting your computer is to free up your RAM. This acronym stands for Random Access Memory and its operation is relatively simple. As you use your computer, information is being stored into your RAM. This is done to speed up the operation of your computer rather than requiring the machine to read and write information directly to the hard drive which would slow things down. When you close a program, the information that is in your RAM gets written to your hard drive. This process is done in the background while you are busy working on other things. However, some information remains resident within your RAM. Over a period of time, this can begin to clog up the available memory. The reboot process cleans the RAM, freeing up all of the memory that is available. Once a week, you should reboot your computer by going to the Start button and choosing Turn Off Computer. You then choose the restart option which will shut the computer down and turn it back on. This is what we refer to as a reboot and this process will clean up any residual information that is clogging up your available memory in RAM. Each week there is also a need to keep your computer clean, especially in the rough environments that our industry sometimes works in. This is a simple task that can be easily accomplished with a computer screen wipe and a can of compressed air. Be sure to use a wipe that is formulated specifically for computer monitors and don't use any other type of solvent that could be detrimental to your monitor screen. Monthly, there is a need to schedule a disk cleanup, a disk check, and a disk defragment. These tasks will check and maintain your hard drive, which is sometimes referred to as your C drive. This will also help to keep your hard drive in peak working order. A little preventative maintenance here can warn you of potential problems and fix minor glitches before they can do any damage to your data. All of these maintenance tasks are found by navigating to your Start button, clicking on My Computer, and then finding your main hard drive. 
Here you can see that my main hard drive is labeled Local Disk C. In fact, right next to it is the backup drive I spoke about earlier. If I use my right mouse button and click my C drive, I get the option of Properties. By clicking on the Properties, I can see information about my hard drive. In the Tool section of this screen, I have the Check Disk option. This tool will scan my hard drive and look for errors, then it will attempt to repair any errors found. The other option here is to defragment the hard drive. As you create files and install and uninstall programs, Windows writes this information onto your hard drive. Sometimes this information is written in multiple locations of the drive. This is referred to as fragmentation. Over time, as you work, you may end up with files dotted all over your hard drive. The defragment tool scans your hard drive and moves the files that it can so that similar files are next to one another. This tool helps speed up your operation because the computer spends less time looking for information rather than having to scan your entire drive to find it. If your computer is connected to the internet either by a phone connection or a wireless one, there are additional precautions and maintenance items that you need to be mindful of. To begin with, you must have a firewall installed and operating to prevent unwanted contact to your computer. Secondly, you need to add the scanning of adware and spyware to your list of weekly maintenance checks. Your antivirus software must be actively scanning. And lastly, you should make sure that all of these items are updated consistently. You can easily find many suitable anti-adware and spyware programs, many for free. For more information about this, please contact one of our support technicians at NSN. The most recent edition of Microsoft Windows XP, which is referred to as SP2 or Service Pack 2, has an integrated firewall that is more than suitable for your needs. To make sure that this is active, you can go to the Start button and look at All Programs. On the top of this list is an item called Accessories, and within Accessories are your Systems tool. This is another way to navigate to your Disk Cleanup and Defragmenter, but it's also where you can check your security in the Security Center. Here, you can set and verify that your firewall and your virus protection are active. If you're connected to the Internet, it's also important to run a disk cleanup to get rid of all the temporary files that are placed on your machine while navigating the Internet. To do this, we go back to My Computer and look at the properties of the hard drive. From the General tab, you can see the Disk Cleanup tool, and this tool will remove a number of files that will help free up space on your hard drive. The tool will also let you know what the files consist of when you click on them if you're concerned about what you're cleaning up. Again. This should be part of your monthly maintenance list. One final important note concerning automatic updates. On August 8, 2005, President George W. Bush signed the Energy Policy Act of 2005, which extended daylight saving time for about four weeks. The results of this extension will be studied by the Energy Department, and Congress will then review the impact and decide if we are to keep this format or resume the 2005 schedule. As of the release of this module, this policy's impact on how you irrigate is rather significant. Because Windows automatically changes its internal clock based on daylight savings time, you need to ensure that you have the patch installed that changes this time. If you are automatically updated and connected to the Internet, you should have this patch installed. If you are not, you should contact us at NSN or you can download the patch at Spectoro from this location. You have just spent another 10 minutes completing this episode of NSN's Training in 10. Today's topic has been basic computer maintenance. We hope that this lesson helped you better understand this important procedure and that it helps you further enhance your career working with the number one irrigation central control product, Toro Cypro. Be sure to keep an eye out for future installments of NSN's Training in 10, the self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and to get going. If you have any questions about this or about future training topics, or if you would like to participate in one of our acclaimed Toro Cypro Regional Training Classes, please contact us by calling 
8676, option 2. Once again, that's 888-676-8676, option 2. Toro and Toro's National Support Network. Count on it.